being See. the local rising legend of Tibbs, who if you <laughs> yes. if you missed the last the, week, if you missed the stream, not last week, literally four days yeah, ago, three right. days this, ago, uh, this week at Ultimate Shockwave 10, Tibbs 2 owed <laughs> Austin in winners. Tibbs is the guy you see uh, yes. sitting opposite of Captain Zach the in the flannel shirt. Yeah. Uh, Plays Pac-Man Emoticon <laughs> and was yes. able to beat Austin 2-0, and maybe he can carry that magic on to beat Captain Zack. Pac-Man has a whole new bag of tricks in this game, and some gimmicks, and some other things. I think yeah. he's, he's got he's got this nice mix of gimmicks and legit things, and I think uh, if you're not ready for a good or at least uh, super aware and decent Pac-Man. And I'd say Tibbs is actually a pretty good Pac-Man. Yeah, no, Tibbs is actually uh, not bad. He have to be very yeah, good to beat to Austin. Yeah, at least, yeah. At you have least to have some good understanding of skill yeah. to beat Austin. And, um, yeah, so we'll have to, we'll, this might be like a, a matchup uh, knowledge test slash on-the-fly adaptation test for Captain Zack. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing the bail. Actually, so, funny thing, uh, she, uh, ba Captain Zack has the peach in the background. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember seeing Sam Sora say that actually Pac-Man is one of the tougher matchups for, uh, for Peach. I so. I could possibly believe that. I think that Pac-Man has a lot of tools to get away from Peach's edge guards, uh, you know, and among those other things. And I think that's one of the things that he can have against Bayonetta too. Okay. And Captain Zack wasting no time immediately getting inside Tips' zone, not letting him set up anything. I think that's one of the big things that Captain Zack is going to be, uh, you know, taking advantage of the fact that, like you said, Bayonet has got so many burst movement options that he can get right Ooh. there in on Tibbs to, you know, mess up mess up that zone that he wants to set up. Oh, hey, you know, man, big hitboxes, too, to take care of that fire hydrant. Zack is looking like he definitely has some experience in the matchup. Definitely. Tibbs trying to turtle up here, but Ooh. Bayonet has burst options he's not ready for. I think I really like what I saw there from Captain Zack when he hit the Fire Hydrant once and that tempted Tibbs to throw out a weaker hitbox to try to blow it up. Yeah, and Captain Zack said, all right, my time to go in. <laughs> all right, seeing the witch time. And so the witch time, I feel like, is going to be a big factor for Zack in this matchup because Tibbs uh, oftentimes does actually play a very buttons-heavy Pac-Man, especially if he's <laughs> down. I mean... <laughs> You know, it, it can be a problem if you telegraph your <laughs> options a little bit too much. There's nothing more telegraphed than that power pellet. Oh, yeah. Captain Zack said, oh, right into my down smash? Okay. Oh, you might see the mock bell. Captain Zack too aware, not going to just let it happen. Yeah. For those who yeah, don't know, that is a colloquial name for tossing the bell into, into the, the fire wall. hydrant's water. Yeah, so it moves super fast. But, yeah. like, uh, Mock Lemon moves really quickly for some reason. Whoa. And actually, that's going to take the stock and keep it pretty even. Yeah, really good stuff there from Tibbs to real quickly bring it back. I mean, the big thing that impresses me about Tibbs, I have to say, is he has such a good understanding of... Pac-Man's follow-ups above anything else. He knows exactly how that fire hydrant works, and he knows exactly the angle that all of his moves are going to send over. And Pac-Man just has so many of those weird moves, like you said, kind of yeah. a janky character with a weird tool bag that, you know, it's impressive to see that Tibbs already has a lock on all of that. It's just a matter of becoming, uh, you know, the kind of player in general that will Ooh. be able to trip up Captain Zack. Yeah, and that was actually a pretty tricky recovery. Might have cost him, but gets away with it. Ooh, wow, roll, roll on in. stage. Oh, misses that jab block attempt. And is regretting it. Great DI there from Tibbs. Captain Zack trying to follow it, but he's been really good about mixing that up. But like I said, Tibbs yeah. can be very buttons heavy at times. And if there's any tool that denies your buttons more than Bayonetta's <laughs> Witch Time, you're going to have to show it to me. Yeah, definitely a big shutter down uh, of any hitbox to try to throw out. Doesn't care what you're doing. Okay, these great light. air out of shield. Yeah, doing these light punishes. Ooh. All right, we'll see how Tibbs is able to DI this one. Actually, Captain Zack landing on the platform with all of that special lag was not able to follow up. Speaking Ooh. of not being able to follow up, that could have been big for Tibbs, but Definitely. Zack out of the way. The apple. Apple will not kill for another, like, hunt, um, so, it, like, It doesn't kill until late. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes we say Bayonetta doesn't kill till late, but Captain Zackman, <laughs> the way that oh. he's been following up, oh no, the way he's been following up has made me think that he could get those early stocks. But Tibbs getting a freebie early stock there with Captain Zack <laughs> SD using the, the backing up of the Galaga. Yeah. Normally that he uh, he could do a quick combo with the Galaga, get 40 damage. There, the water actually knocked it away, and then. Um, 
managed to actually come back to finish off that combo. Wow, be Tip's careful. going so far to make that recovery. He knows Pac-Man can be exploited when he's getting ready to, you know, bung up that power pellet. Ooh! Wow, Captain Zack just off on the spacing of this ship. Yeah. Dude, Tips is keeping this close! Actually, this could turn around in an instant. Oh my that gosh, he's going for Oh my god, <laughs> dude! He's not afraid. And one thing I love about Tibbs is... Oh, I love that Tibbs went for the bell. Yeah. But man, you you were, you were saying An something about what dodge. you like about Tibbs. I want to hear what you're thinking <laughs> after that game one, because there's a lot to love. Oh yeah. Now one thing I love about Tibbs is he is like quite the showman, and he does not afraid. He doesn't care who you are. He's not afraid to go for the big reads, those smash attacks, the grabs sometimes. Uh, with Pac-Man, it's like... It's kind of a read to get those grabs, because, um, <laughs> you know, he's it's way better in this game, but still compared to Smash tether, 4, yeah. yeah. To, uh, compared to Smash 4. It was, it was definitely a meme, uh, yeah. Pac-Man's Pac grab back in Smash 4, but in this game, a lot of end lag reduced. The grab boxes have actually been fixed a lot, yeah. so it's a viable option. You saw him land one. You know, that's more than he would have gotten in Smash 4. <laughs> actually, I'm looking for a smaller stage here. Probably... Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, a little little curious choice here. The fair train? Yeah, fair train is a very real thing for Pac-Man in this game. It is uh, basically chic fair. Yeah. Okay, Captain Zack over committing on that heel slide. That gives Tibbs the chance to get right back on his horse. Mm -hmm. See, air dodges back onto so the much. stage. Zack getting those big follow-ups that you and would expect fair... him to get. Yeah. Fair off the and top, man. That's Bayonetta's new upper. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Really, the new uh, new way to end your combos if you're trying to get a kill. So, like we said, man, okay. Captain Zack can get those early kills despite the fact that we know that Bayonetta struggles a lot more in this game to find those stocks. <laughs> but Tibbs, man, he's gotten some early stocks as well. I want to see him turn it around because he's been picking up a lot on you know Captain Zack's unwillingness to uh, approach Pac-Man when he does have the projectile threat. So oh, if Tibbs is able to I, pick it up! Oh, the weak hit of the fourth smash? Not gonna take it. I like that Tibbs tried to take advantage of the ABK into the melon there with the extended hitbox, but that's not even what he's going to need to take the stock as he's able to find the now solid back air of Pac-Man. Yeah. That was like one of the only moves in Smash 4 that wasn't a nice back air. Yeah, in Smash 4 he definitely was wanting for options like a kill aerial. Grab follow-ups, combos. Yeah. He was hurting for a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> in this game, we've gotten a lot of that and becoming pretty solid. And that was a nice quick 50 damage. Yeah, you want to talk about top. solid. Solid <laughs> follow-ups from Tibbs, but solid snipes from Captain Zack as well. Oh, yeah. We're Able to take that here. second stock. Ooh, okay. Just going for the uh, bell toss. Ooh. Oh, wow. Trying to catch Captain Zack dropping from the platform. That would have been a quick knockoff stage for Tibbs. Maybe he would have been able to get a big follow-up off of that, but right now it's Zack looking for those big follow-ups to try to take this game and not drop one to the local Pac-Man. Yeah, Tibbs kind of getting antsy with these top throws and... Wow. Yeah, that's going to take that. Once again, Captain Zack so good at getting those deep follow-ups. I mean, yeah. him and Lima both have gotten such a good understanding of Bayonetta's resources. I always feel like Captain yeah. Zack is less prone to the SDs. But he's willing to go just as deep as Lima is to go get those kills. And you can see that right there, all the way up in the corner, yeah. able to finish off tips.